Now I'm going to walk you through the setup for a letter and just kind of show you some of the formatting that you will need to use in Word and why you need to do that and how that should look by the time you complete your letter. So I'm just, I went to open up Word and I opened a new document and we're just gonna go from scratch. I'm gonna create my letter with you right now. And if uh, you have any questions at the end of this video, please don't hesitate to ask. Okay, so I'm going to, let's, I'm gonna pretend I'm writing a cover letter. So I'm gonna use my own name, okay? And I'm going to leave on the show formatting, okay? The show formatting, that's a paragraph marker. It is what I use when I'm correcting your work so that I get to see like, how did they set this up? How many spaces did they put in? And all those little nitpicky things. So I'm gonna start with my name. And I'm going to put in my address, okay? Now, one thing, when you're doing um, your address block, okay, or your letterhead, there is a specific format, so watch that. And I'm going to just go over that with you here in just a second. Oops. Okay, so that would be my address. And, um, a couple of things that I want to point out. So obviously I'm the one that's sending the letter. So I'm the first name and address to go on it. So that's the letterhead. Okay. So I have my name. I have below that my civic address. I could also put in my post office box if it was mail that I was expecting to to receive back. So either one, if, if you always use the post office box, then that's probably what you should use. And then I have town, the two letter abbreviation for province, two spaces, and then the postal code. You don't need to add Canada. If you've got the postal code, that's all you need. Okay. But that is the proper format. Now, um, what is wrong with this? Well, the spacing is, it's, there's too much space there for an address block. So I'm just going to select the first two um, lines and I'm going to go no spacing, okay? And now what it does is it creates a nice neat little address block, okay? Uh, we'll worry about doing some more formatting to make it look nicer here in just a second. Okay, so now I'm going to type in the date. Okay, so that's the date, a couple of spaces, and now I'm going to type in the name of the person that I am sending it to. So I'm going to pretend that I'm sending it to Dr. Sandy McDonald at Holland College. Okay, so I have the name and the appropriate title. Okay, so it's important he is Dr. Sandy McDonald. So if people have earned a doctorate, they want to be addressed by that. Now, if I didn't see a title, Okay, the, the, the title doctor doesn't really tell me if it's a man or a woman, um, but if I just saw Sandy McDonald, I would probably try to get a hold of the institution where that person worked if I didn't know who Sandy was and find out what would be the appropriate title. Maybe it's Mr., maybe it's Ms., so just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, so now I'm going to put the institution. And I'm going to go Charlottetown and two letter abbreviation. Oh, I'm sorry. I should, uh, one thing I forgot was 140 Weymouth Street. Oops. And note, I am, I am writing these out. I'm not going like abbreviated DR for drive or ST for street. And then... I need to put in the postal code. Okay, so now same thing. This should be um, a little bit neater and tidier as far as the spacing. So I'm gonna go up to no spacing. And now I've got the inside address. All right, so letterhead, date, inside address. 
Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my salutation. So, dear Dr. McDonald, when you are creating a letter, keep it very formal. Even if you think, oh, well, I know that person. Like if I had to, to give, I know Sandy McDonald, if I had to send him a proper letter, I would probably still um, address it to Dear Dr. McDonald, okay? Because I'm trying to keep it formal. Um, so that's important. The other thing is you're going to use a colon there, all right? So have the dear, have a title, and use a colon. Now I'm going to actually type the letter. So I'm not going to go ahead and type a full letter. I'm just going to type in what would happen in this first paragraph. So in your opening paragraph, um, you're going to state the purpose of your letter. So if I were applying for a job, I would say, please accept my cover letter and resume in response to job number, whatever. Um, and then I might say, if I were you, I might say, I am currently a student in whatever program at Holland College. Done. All right, now I'm going down to the second paragraph. So you can have three paragraphs in your letter or you can have four. Um, in this, the middle paragraphs, that's where you're giving the details. So I'm just going to write in here, provide details of the letter. So again, if it's a job ad that you're responding to, well, okay, tell me in that middle paragraph, what makes you such an ideal candidate? Then in the final paragraph, you are going to um, thank the reader. Okay, you wanna thank them for their time. You might want to give a call to action. So if this were like you're responding to a job ad, it would be, I would love to meet with you for an interview. And then the last portion of it is you want to provide contact details. Now, maybe you have already provided your contact details up here in your letterhead, and that's fine but you want to redirect your reader. So you might say, you may contact me at the um, coordinates listed above in my letterhead, okay? And then you're going to do your complimentary close. So sincerely, comma, then you're going to type your name. So I will type my name, okay? And um, if I have, if I, if I were sending a letter to Dr. McDonald right now um, about something at the college, I might say learning manager and my department, okay? But you don't have to do that. If I were applying for a job, I would probably type in enclosure, oops. And then I might say resume so that he would know that the resume is there. Okay, so that is the setup. Now, this is pretty boring looking at this stage. So a couple things that I might do. One, if I have room, I would probably go with the size 12 font. It's kind of a standard size. And you can, if you want, change the um, font style. If you want to dress it up, that's up to you. Keep it fairly standard, though. The other thing I might do is I might add a, a border in between the letterhead and the rest of the letter. So I just have it sitting up top here. I'm going to click in the last line of my address block there. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to apply a bottom border. All right, so now you can see I have that border just to kind of add a little bit more to the letter. All right, once I'm done, I'm going to make sure I save it and I'm gonna save it as a, a very specific name 
in case I kind of use a draft of this down the road that needs to be changed. And um, so I'm going to go up to file. I'm going to go to save as. I'm going to decide where I put that letter. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. And instead of just putting my name, I would probably say something like cover letter for job number one, two, three. Okay, save it, come out of there, and now I have my letter done. The other thing you might want to do is once you have your draft created and you're ready to send it, just so that you'll know um, your reader has no problem opening it or no changes will be made, you might want to go in and do the save again. But this time, and I'll just take you there quickly. Um, so I'll go back here. And this time, instead of saving it as a Word document, it's a good idea to save it then as a PDF. So that then I'm going to save, come out of here again. That also adds uh, a little more professionalism to your letter. So now you can see this is what our letter looks like. All right, so that's creating a letter. Thanks and let me know if you have any questions.